Iran's President Hassan Rouhani warning those responsible for the downing of the Ukrainian passenger plane will be punished. We will continue on this path to discover all the aspects of this accident and to push those who were involved and to finally reassure people that such an incident will not be repeated. The Iranian government has announced an undisclosed number of suspects accused of shooting the aircraft, killing all 176 people on board, including 57 Canadians, have now been arrested. As soon as I discovered the crash was not normal and ordinary, I put in a lot of effort to shorten the investigation so that we know exactly how the plane crashed. Iran's president calling the shooting of the missile an unforgivable mistake made by the Iranian military. Iran's state judiciary issued a statement about the arrest, however, didn't release what role the suspects played in the tragic crash. The announcement follows a surge of angry demonstrations in Iran, with protesters demanding accountability over the downing of the Ukraine International Airlines plane after Iran denied their involvement in the tragedy for three days after it happened. The fact that our armed forces very clearly and openly confessed to their mistakes and apologized to the people was a good first step and a next step should be taken as well. The Iranian government is also calling for a special court to be in place consisting of a ranking judge and 10 experts to help with the investigation. This is not an ordinary case. All the world will be watching this case of ours. While Rouhani admitted negligence on his part, he also stood firm, saying the crash was a result of escalating U.S. aggression. Iran also announcing today it will pursue the U.S. military as well as President Donald Trump in the International Criminal Court for the killing of Iranian top general Qasem Soleimani. Canada's foreign minister announced a group of nations that lost citizens in the plane crash will meet Thursday in London. Now, we're still waiting to hear what kind of role Canada will play in the investigation. For City News, I'm Melissa Nakabali.